It's the market. Oh, you came to see us first thing. Yeah. Huh? As, soon as, you, as soon as you got in these streets. Yeah. <laughs> so tell us, what what do you do in these streets? What do you do? Um, I'm a model and a photographer. Um, I guess on like the more professional or business side, I um, do have my finance degree, and so I have a background in um, bookkeeping knowledge. Yeah. I've been modeling since March. <laughs> oh, for real? Right? New model, yeah. Yeah. How, how are you liking it so far? Oh, I love it. It's it's amazing. My very first show was August 20th, and I've had a show every week after that, um, except for this, I believe it was like the 17th of September. I didn't have a show, but, or maybe it was like the the 10th, sorry, the 10th of September. Oh, you model, model. Like, yeah. Like, run away. Like. <laughs> I'm trying. Like, I really want to make this a career, so I'm really trying to get myself out there. That's dope, man. And where you from? Um, so I was raised in McDonough, Georgia. I was born in the Philippines, though. Um, my dad was in the military, so we did move to Washington for a little bit. So I just moved back to Atlanta in March. <laughs> did you miss Atlanta? Um, I definitely did because Washington, Washington State, so like Seattle, Washington, is not like it's not really that fun to be in. It's really <laughs> gloomy and depressing, and so I definitely missed it when I was out here. Uh, I was in the sun like every day because I was just trying to soak it up. <laughs> <laughs> how was like how was it growing up? Because you know, like you said, you was like from a military family. Mm -hmm. Was it hard for you to adjust to? Um, to move it when I moved to Washington was it hard for me to adjust? Um, no, not in the beginning because like I was really excited because around that time that's when like Twilight came out and so I was like super I was like oh I'm young so I was like oh I'm gonna go see Forks Washington still to this day I have not been to Forks Washington but I was kind of excited to move to uh, Washington State but um, after a while adjusting and I guess realizing that like I didn't have any family it was just my immediate family it did it was kind of hard a little bit um, but then in the weather definitely didn't make it <laughs> you know the best do you feel like there's a lot of politics in the um model industry as far as in Atlanta? Um or you haven't experienced anything like that yet? I guess I haven't really experienced anything like that yet. Um I know there is some like with like looks, depending on how you look, like you can get further. And I've had a lot, a, a couple people tell me about my looks and how like they they really like my look and they want to use me because of my look. But other than that, like I don't know about politics as much. Yeah. What are some of the things you learned as a child that will always be with you until forever? Um, something I learned as a child. Oh, I guess my dad, he really instilled independence in me. So I will forever keep that, being independent. So not having to, not not that you're, you're going to need people to be successful for sure, but like not having to necessarily rely on everybody, like making sure that you have your own, especially financially, um, it's, it is important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Is there anything else you like to touch on besides modeling, like as far as in the industry, like music or anything like that, or um, cooking? Or cooking. <laughs> you know what? I actually do not like to cook. I am a good cook. Like, don't play with me. I am a good cook, but I just it's just not fun for me. Like the going through the process. So I don't really like to cook, but I do like to paint. Um. I wouldn't mind trying singing. I haven't. Seen Saying like seriously since I was like in eighth grade, but like I mean I would dabble into that. <laughs> it's not like my focus, but I wouldn't mind. Okay, you know you know how they say like social media, you know, is kind of like changing the world and how people think. Does social media have an effect on you and how you think of yourself? Oh. Or how you want to move or anything? Um, 
I will say that I'm very influenced by social media right now in terms of like wanting that like lifestyle, the influencer lifestyle. Um, so that's what I'm really working towards uh, right now. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think that's, yeah. <laughs> Yep. Yep. I, did I answer your question? I don't know. What uh, happened? Was yeah. it, is it the drink? Is it the drink? <laughs> Relax. <laughs> is it the drink? We got it, y'all. We got it, y'all. She got the wet pussy. Oh, my gosh. Oh, we got it. <laughs> like, did I answer your question? Yeah. Or did, did I ask you the question? Like, yeah. what, what was the question? I don't know. So what is your favorite? Are you a, would you say you're a shoe person or, or, or clothing person? Um. So I'm... I, I'm not a shoe person yet, but I definitely, definitely want to become a shoe person. Um, am I a clothes person? No, I. it's like modeling is really bringing me out and trying to be on more fashion styles, but I'm more streetwear. I definitely love streetwear. So like yeah. the Tiana Taylor vibe, the Aaliyah vibe, Kehlani vibe, like that, that's definitely the vibe that I like. Yeah, that's a good vibe. That's mm -hmm. a good vibe. Good vibes. Good yeah. vibes. Are you a smoker? Uh, I, I smoke weed. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. When was your last party? Party? Oh, um, like, <laughs> official party, I guess? Yeah, when the last time you just let your hair down and wasn't worried about nothing? Well, I mean, every single Monday, I'm outside. Like, that's, I'm for sure, I'm outside every single Monday. I know that for sure. Barber Bistro. Open mic night, but um, what? Yeah, what are you doing there? What are you, um, what's going on? It's it's open mic night, so um, uh, artists come out and they perform their songs, and you have a chance to win a cash prize at the end. So it's like a really cool vibe. Me and some of my model girls, we'd be going out. My model friends, who are girls, <laughs> model buddies. Yeah, my model buddies. Yeah. So yeah, we'd be going out, and it's just a really cool vibe. So I'm outside every Monday, um, but other than that, like. I think the last time I went to like a club was probably um, during Streetwear Fashion Week, which was um, September 2nd through the 4th. And um, Monday after we, um, I mean Sunday after we um, had our show, we ended up going out. So, where did we go? I don't even remember the place we went. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad I'm not on camera, folks. So tell us a little more about you. Like, um... You know, have you had any uh, have, oh man, the wet pussy got me too. Oh, does it got you? Have you had <laughs> have you had any community involvements or anything? Like what do you like to do? What's your thing? You know, you know you got excuse us, that's the phone. This is the boardroom. The phone rings in the boardroom. I like that effect, right? But um as far as being a model, are you how could I say this? I don't know what kind of question, like are you in the branding stage still? Yes, I would definitely say that I'm still in the branding, like branding myself. Right, so yes. you understand that you mm -hmm. are a brand, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, have you done anything lately like, um, I don't know, philanthropy or, like, is you, are you adding that to your repertoire or is it just going to be kind of like, go with the flow type? Like, um, do you have a plan for the brand, you know? Yes, so um, I'm, when I first, thought about modeling, I wanted to be more on the brand ambassador side, so like the influencer, Instagram, TikTok, um, receiving money that way. Um, but then after I did my first show, I was runway, my first runway show. I, I enjoyed that. I don't mind walking, so that's another route that I would go to. But I don't really want to put myself in a box when it comes to modeling because I am so new, so I don't know what to really, like, what I really um, want to do in terms of, like, this is this is what I want to do and this is what I'm going to stick to. So I'm just trying new things. I, I have photo shoots, um, at least two photo shoots a week. So I'm just like dibbling and dabbling in different things, trying to figure out what I want to do. So, oh, I see what's going on. Hold on, folks. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I was wondering what that was. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> Alright, we back at it, back at it. Where, where, where were we? I know, we're right? I don't even remember the last question. Oh, yeah, yeah, we was talking about the drink. You said it's a good thing I'm not on camera. Man, man. So, yeah. So, what's our moves right now as far as the branding? What is, Are you finding, um... I, I need to know two things. I need to know, 
Are you finding, are you trying to do something with the branding and you find it complicated? And is there something that you really love about the branding part? So it's like a two part question right there. Um, I, <clears throat> my only frustration right now with modeling is that I haven't gotten paid for it yet. And so that's the, that's the only thing, but I understand like the process is that you have to start somewhere. You get things done for free or whatever, but it's like, now it's just like, okay, I want to, cause I really want to make this my career. So it's like the money needs to start rolling in. So that's, that's really the frustrating part of it. Um, as far as like, is there, what was the second part of the question? Um, what's the good part? Like what, 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 <laughs> what part of the branding do you actually enjoy? Oh, what do I enjoy? Um, oh, I just really, I just, I love the cameras. I love how people are constantly complimenting. My, my number one love language is words of affirmation. So it's just like when people are complimenting me and telling me oh, all these things, it's just damn. like, <laughs> <laughs> that's what I really love about it, but I also love the art of it. I like how I can express and show off like people's um, um, designs through my walk, through like different poses that I'm doing. I just like, I love the art of it. And then when it comes to photo shoots, I love what you can create through photo shoots. Um, so that's what I really love. I just love the experience. And then I like getting pretty, you know, like yeah. getting yeah. nice stuff, dressed up. And so, yeah, that's what I really love about it. So. Back to your childhood. Mm -hmm. Was it was it a smooth childhood, or did it did, did it get a little ghetto? Did it get a little ratchet? Like like, what what what's your upbringing? Mm -hmm. My childhood, my childhood was good. I I will say overall it was a nice childhood. My parents, I feel like my parents did what they needed to do to be able to raise me and my brother. Um, moving to Washington was hard for me, so that did affect my life. It did affect. Um, some things between me and my family <clears throat> but after like you know growing up and being coming more mature like that all worked itself out but other than that like I really don't have many complaints about my childhood like my parents really did what they needed to do yeah so you I, I you had said something earlier and I, I think is really dope mm -hmm. um you have a degree I do Tell us about that. <laughs> yeah, I went to school for four years at Washington State University. Go Cougs. Yeah, Cougs. shout out Washington Go State. Go Cougs. Um, yes, I have a finance degree. Um, I, I, I went to school originally for accounting, but after taking a couple of those court courses, um, no, I switched my degree to finance real quick uh, because I realized that's more the route that I want to go into. Um, but, you know, even though I do have a degree, I don't. It's not like something I, I mean, it will help me in the future, but that's not the route I want to go anymore. I definitely want to be a creative. You know what I learned about life is that like everything, we do everything for a reason. So like, like you said, you might not like need it now, but like a model right. that wants to be paid and having a finance degree, you, you're going to kill it because you're going to figure it out. Like, right. A lot of people can't figure out that part, mm -hmm. you know, and you might need a degree for that part. Yeah. So, yeah. And then one of my future goals is that eventually after everything is said and done and I'm super, super successful, I really want to invest in small businesses. So having that finance degree background or a business background in general, I have that basic knowledge already. And so that puts me one step ahead already. So it is it is helpful. I don't I definitely don't regret my um, finance degree. Um, when I when I do reflect back, sometimes I feel like I wish I would have went to school in the arts. But at the end of the day, my finance degree is going to help me some way somehow. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. It's like, oh, yeah. Talking to the drink. We're not gonna do the second one. We're not gonna bring the second one. Yeah. I'm not gonna do another one. This she she got me lit real quick. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I think that's really dope. Like me personally, I just um, you know, I had a few majors like fucking what. Criminal justice is my favorite. Yeah. I said when I get like 50, I'm going to be like that old lawyer. Like, I'm going to go yeah. back. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> I, I didn't graduate college. It was just was like, it, I was doing it for the money because I was in the military too. Mm. So when I got out, you know what I mean? They pay you to go to college. Right. So I was using the money for my music and stuff. It was a bad decision. That mm. was a bad decision. But <laughs> hey, you don't know what people got to do to get where they at. You know what I'm saying? You know, like... <laughs> You never know. So tell us a little bit more, you know, what is your plans for the next five, ten years? What's your goals? Ooh, the next five years. 
Yeah. Yeah, we'll just stick it at five because ten sounds a little more stressful. Uh, yeah, yeah, lot. five is stressful. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I'm 23 right now, so in five years I'll be 28. So, mm. <laughs> um, what's my goals? I mean, I'm so like focused in right now that I'm just I just really want this modeling stuff to to take off for me. So, it's like whatever I need to do morally to be able to make that happen. That's that's my plan for the next five years. It's like just to continue making sure that this modeling works out for me. Um, yeah, that's what I don't, it's no, there's no like specifics because it's like I'm at a point right now where in the beginning of this year, my life completely shifted. Like I was thinking about modeling last year, like in October or whatever, but um I, I had a different plan. I, I wasn't sure modeling was something that I was going to focus in, focus in on. So now that I am focused in on modeling, mm -hmm. it's like I'm figuring things out to be able to actually plan what do I want. Um, so yeah. So. Oh no. <laughs> <What>? Yo. <laughs> so. <laughs> All right. So you said you haven't been paid yet, right? I have not. Are you doing like music videos and stuff? I have been in two music videos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So so let me ask you, cause I'm gonna be real. This for the this for the other type of dudes that might be watching this interview mm -hmm. and ladies. Do you have a ratchet side? <laughs> I mean, like I can get lit. I like yeah. I can for sure get lit. I can. Uh, I do what I need to do, but like a ratchet side, like probably yeah. Let me not play. <laughs> like, playing over here. <laughs> I know. I'm she is to, playing. I'm to keep well, it cute. I physically, <laughs> technically, basically, according to my intellectual knowledge of the situation. <laughs> <laughs> no, like I'm trying to keep it cute, but no, I, mean, like, I feel like I feel like I for sure have a ratchet side. Yeah, I can get down how I need to get down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What would be your alter ego? My name? Yo. The show got a name for my alter ego. Yeah, like the name and what are you? Like, is it like, are you a car? Are you an animal? Like, mm. a, another person? Like, a spirit? Like, what are you? <laughs> well, my alter ego name is L-E-T. Um, it's spelled, and, and the way that it's spelled is elite. So, because you know I'm elite. Nah, let me stop. <laughs> but no, L-E-T came from um, the fact that I love elephants. That's, I feel like, I'm, uh, elephants are just so beautiful to me. And I love what they represent, uh, wisdom and knowledge and all that. Um, but um, yeah, so it's a mixture of L-E and then T uh, from Tyrena, my first name. Um, and um what 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 am I like? Um, I guess that part of me is just more of the creative side. Like I feel like Tyrena on a normal basis is probably just on the like the going to college, you know, figuring out the business degree and stuff like that. But like Let, she's the creative. She goes out. She walk walks the runway. You know, that's that's who Let is. So 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 your alter ego is an elephant. <laughs> would we say that, or is, sure. is, is another? Is it another animal? I wouldn't say it's an animal. I think it's just an energy. Oh, yeah. What color? Mm. Mm. My energy would be red. Oh, yeah. That's my favorite color too. Mine right? too. Ah. Yeah, mine too. Yeah. Ah. yeah. <laughs> mm hmm. We that with it. Yeah. Yeah. All day. Um. Let us know something like what is something that you will want to share with this platform that you want, you know, the world to know about you or about anything or something that bothers you or something that makes you feel good, like whatever. You know what? Um, something that bothers me. I actually just like I was having this discussion with myself, like going back and forth because I'm struggling right now in terms of like trying to live life in the present and not being too, too worried about the future. But it's also like, because we are in the real world, the future or planning for the future and like making sure you have money, that's like the big thing. 
I just go back and forth with that, like struggling between, okay, if I want something right now, <laughs> I'm going to get it right now. I'm not worried about two months from now, I may need this little bit of money because two months I may need it, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's like that, that's, that's a big struggle for me, um, coming into terms of that. And I still don't have the answer. Like that's every day. I'm just like, what, how do I balance this? Making sure that I stay happy presently, but also making sure I keep myself in good positions for the future. Hmm. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. I would say a good rule of thumb, if you don't mind me spitting a little okay. bit of something, something yeah. on my hand. Um, me, I love like clothes and shoes. Mm -hmm. I, like I love that shit. Like broke or not, nah, like I don't care. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm gonna look decent. Good, you know what I mean? Yeah. But um, you know, I think a good rule of thumb that's been helping me, and it, I'm gonna say lately, cause I'm not no expert financially mm -hmm. either. I go crazy sometimes. But I would say, you know. You gotta just evaluate. Do you like something? Do you love it? Mm. Or do you do you need it? You mm. know what I'm saying? And I don't know. With me lately, it's been like, okay, I want I want this jacket or I want these shoes or I want this chain or whatever. But I've been more strict now with like, damn, can I buy it twice? Oh. And that be putting I don't know, right? Mm. Something like that. That that should be putting me in check because it's like. Yo, if you can't buy it twice, don't buy it, bro. Like, I'll be in my own head. Yeah. I'm like, okay, I'm going to wait, I'm going to wait, I'm going to wait. But sometimes you be like, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get that back. But I get it. <laughs> and for me, it's like, I'm such a, I love, like, trying new things and just being around new things. So, like, if I'm out of place and there's, like... I don't know a random dessert or something or a different food that I don't know like I will I, I will spend money on it just to try it and I, I get myself in trouble with that a lot because I will walk out spending X amount of dollars that I wasn't even planning to spend just to try something <laughs> see food is an exception to the rule you know <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give Atlanta credit, you know, it's different I love, yo know, man, it's different restaurants out here, different types of food it's like Damn. Yeah. But yeah. you would risk it all for the food, though. Yes, I will. See, I I, I, I haven't got there yet, but if, <laughs> if if I feel like I'm good, I'm definitely going to eat good. I'm definitely I'm definitely not going to eat no BS. Food. No, no. <laughs> yeah, no, I would definitely consider myself, like, <clears throat> somewhat of a foodie. Like, I don't go crazy, but I will try new things. Like, there is not... Food-wise, there's not a lot of things that I would be like, mm, mm no. You know, like, I, I will at least try something once. <laughs> so what's your favorite food? Tacos. Easy. <laughs> Tacos for what sure. What you like on them? It doesn't matter. Um, So I'm definitely the traditional style tacos. Um, Just, you know, steak, cilantro, and onions, and then whatever seasonings they or sauces they have. Like, I'm very authentic authentic tacos but i will try like vel red velvet or i think that's what it's called velvet like they have some fancy type of tacos but i'm definitely traditional give me the steak onions and cilantro <laughs> I, know. I, I, I didn't know they had the fancy tacos i guess they got a fancy everything huh yeah they have like they had like a chicken and waffles taco that was pretty what? cool yeah <laughs> yeah that's crazy <laughs> <laughs> yeah yo Okay, so when you graduated, the day you graduated, right? Mm -hmm. What did you do that day? Oh, the day I graduated? So you know what? I graduated during COVID, so I didn't even have a um, like an actual ceremony. What? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wait, damn, co wait, hold up. Oh, college. Yeah. I'm tripping. Are I'm you saying, talking about high school? Yo, I was thinking high school because oh. that's the only thing I graduated oh. from. <laughs> college during 2020 and my graduation was actually virtual so the day I graduated I was with my family um I drove six hours to go be with them and um what was you said what did I do yeah what did yeah you do? What did you um do? so we watched the graduation on tv and then when they called my name you know everybody went crazy and then after that it was over it was over and so then we had like dinner and then um I was just vibing out with my my immediate family and my godbrothers and um, their their dad and mom. 
That's dope, man. Mm -hmm. See, when I graduated, I hit the camera, <laughs> shake the tape. Um, when I graduated, right? Of course, it was high school, not COVID. You know, not COVID time. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But yo, you know what I did? I was like, my parents was riding me about graduating so much, and I was so bad as a kid. I ain't gonna lie. But when I finally, when it finally clicked, and I was like actually starting to do good, yeah. which was like my last year, um, I went to bed. That was crazy. I went to sleep and woke up later. Like y'all got your got y'all got your goddamn uh uh diploma. Yeah. I'm going to sleep. I'm going to sleep. Yeah, that's it. I mean, shoot. Yeah. <laughs> I always wonder what people do after they graduate because it's like I just went to sleep. Like I just let it all go. Like uh. I will say though, on my graduation, <laughs> um, on my graduation, um, um. My dad gave me a gift and he gave me a camera. So the camera that I use now to take photos of everybody, my dad got that for me. And that was like the start of my photography, like going down the photography road. I had a passion for photography since I was in high school, but when I went to college, um, my school didn't have the minor that I was looking for, so I let it go. So when my dad bought me that camera, it was just, it was just a Oh my god, I was like, I remember like shaking, like just being so happy, like the fact that I have a camera in my hand, like, thank you, thank you so much, dad. Like, I got some napkins over there, you know, if you want to wipe your tears. Oh my god, I know, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm most school back here too. <laughs> yeah. So about the photography, mm -hmm. have you figured, are you, what, what level of photographer would you say you are? Would you say you're, you're really good or would you say like, oh, I'm just okay? I wouldn't say I'm just okay, but I mean, like, I mean, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Um, yeah, no, um, yeah, so I wouldn't say I'm just okay, but I feel like I definitely am in a position where I'm, I'm able to learn more. I can definitely develop my craft more, but I feel like the pictures that I have taken came out good, and I've got good, um, reviews on them, so. But I'm always down to learn more and to figure out, like, how I can be better at what I do. So that's like your other business, huh? So yes. you got the modeling, you want to do photography, mm -hmm. huh? Yeah. Yeah, and then bookkeeping. So if anybody needs a bookkeeper. Bookkeeper. Yeah. Anybody need her all up in your business. Mm -hmm. You hit her up. Yeah, and I'm good. I'm good with bookkeeping. Mm. Yeah. There you go. Shameless plug, put it down. Yes. Let, hey, let us know where we can find you at. Oh, yeah. So on Instagram and TikTok, you can find me at Tyrina.Fay. That is spelled T Y R I N A dot F E I G H. And that's F as in Frank, because sometimes people say S. <laughs> and just one more good question. Yeah. Um, What would you tell the little girls that's out there watching you? They're big fans. They're watching you model. They're watching you do the finances and all this great stuff. What would you tell them to to combat them for their future as a young woman? Or you ain't old enough to speak on that yet. <laughs> <laughs> Got him! <laughs> so, I mean, like, I, I feel like what I wish somebody would have said to me and or actually people have told me that it's really just staying true to yourself like if you have certain values and you have certain morals that you want to stand by don't let anybody change that about you because even like through modeling people are going to try to like persuade you to do different things if that doesn't fit in what you are comfortable with don't allow them to like persuade you to do anything stick to what you know and whoever wants to work with you will work with you because of you not because of what like you know it, it shouldn't be no like back backhanded stuff from it so that's what I would really stay is like stay true to you and then um a good thing a good thing for me too is write stuff down <laughs> because I um oh I don't know how many times there's been situations where like I needed I there's like a list of things that I need to do but it's I keep it all in my head if I just wrote it oh, down man. it would yes. be so much easier <laughs> like life would be easier so yeah keep a calendar also my calendar is my lifesaver I don't make plans with anybody until I look at my calendar so that's another thing for sure <laughs> yo you you're absolutely right I'm not even gonna lie to you I went out of town Sunday mm -hmm. it was supposed to be like a one day like a little one day thing mm -hmm. I came back Monday, right? My friend was supposed to fly in. My best friend was he fly in at least once a year. Yeah. 
He was supposed to fly in on Tuesday. I came back on Monday. Mm -hmm. He flew, he came, he drove in on Monday. But at the same time, I had like an interview booked. I was supposed to be like three different places. Oh, no. That shit, I didn't think about that shit till the next day. I was like, you know, I'm the type, if I'm wrong, I'm probably going to stay wrong. Because, like, I ain't going to keep apologizing like a million times. Yeah, I'm just going to be like, I fucked up. I'm never going to ask again. Or yeah. Just gonna, just, but, yeah, you write. you got to write it down. Yeah, write it down. Or And it's not technical. It's not necessarily legitly writing it down. Like, keep a notes. You know, keep something so that way you can keep your thoughts um, written down. Because... There's so much going on up here, I'm pretty sure for everybody. <laughs> like yeah. so writing it down is gonna be a lifesaver. Okay, so do you wanna leave us with anything before we depart from this wonderful interview? Um leave you with, with anything. Um I guess I will shout out my my Instagram again. Um Tyrina.fay. Um, I'm a model, I'm a photographer, and I'm also a bookkeeper. So, a wide range. Use me in any way you want to. <laughs> um, morally. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm about making money. Like, I need money. So, like, let's do business. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. Face man, you, you know, it's been another plugged in radio interview. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure y'all tune in next week for the next. Oh, wait, Hold yes, on. time out. No, time out. I'm the, sorry, delay of game. Yes, my quote, I will leave with, leave with this. My favorite quote is a vision without action is merely a dream. That's my favorite quote. So with that, what that means to me is if you can think about something all day, every day, but if you don't put any momentum behind that, it will never come true. Mm. So a vision without action is merely a dream. I'm not sure who said it, but I know Kevin Gates did. So This woman is speaking the truth. <laughs> like, she's speaking to my heart. <laughs> like, that's how I think about everything. But it, yeah. All right, man, yo. It's been another episode of Plugged In. It's your boy Face World, man. I'll see y'all next time. All right. Peace. Peace.